Hello, Scott Wheeler with Automotive Consultants Group, Inc., or ACGI as we're known. Today, we're with Chris Britton, Executive Director for New Heights Auto Services, located in St. Joseph, Michigan, not too far from Chicago. Let's discover what his journey has been like as he found himself thrust into a new and challenging role over a really cool concept. As part of the New Heights Ministry, Chris was challenged with making their auto repair center a self-sustaining entity. This would provide their customers with needs of reliable transportation, much needed help. New Heights begins by careful acceptance of a donated vehicle before the reconditioning starts. Then a team of skilled and certified technicians recondition the vehicle. When complete, they give the vehicle to another worthy family. That's right, I said give. Pretty cool concept. Working together in less than a year, we've been able to successfully develop the retail operation to support the financial obligations of the ministry side. But let's check in with Chris and learn what he's got to share. So, Chris, please give us some background here. Who is New Heights Auto Services and what is your primary mission? So our mission is to help people uh, gain or maintain employment through access to reliable transportation. And we do that in two ways. We, um, the, the way we serve the most people is through significantly subsidized repairs. So somebody who is in financial need can come to us and they can get a repair for half the cost, our cost of parts, and for only $15 an hour of labor. We also take in donated vehicles, restore them, and then provide them, again, for pennies on the dollar for individuals who need transportation. And all of this is around serving individuals who need transportation for employment. In our community, public transit is practically non-existent, uh, and so often people are losing their jobs frequently because they can't regularly get to them. Gotcha. Wow. So it's safe to say you're a 501c nonprofit. Yes. Yep. New Heights Auto Services falls under the uh, nonprofit umbrella of New Heights Christian Community Development Association. Very cool. So you took on this project of running this automotive repair shop. When did you realize that you might be over your head running the shop? I think it came when we decided to make this a social enterprise. And so social enterprise means you use uh, typical marketplace um, services to fund uh, a charitable endeavor. So like I said, our charitable endeavor is to help people gain or maintain employment through access to reliable transportation. That's an, expe that's an expensive endeavor. And so we wanted to serve as many people as possible. Uh, and we didn't necessarily want to always have to rely on the goodwill of donors. We also wanted to make this sustainable and scalable. And the way of doing that was finding a way of creating sustainable funding. And so the sustainable funding we decided was going to come through offering retail services. So regular, like any other shop, offering repair services at a market rate. Uh, instead, instead of the profits of that though, going into some owner's pockets, those profits are reinvested into the charitable arm of what we do. So when we decided to do that, and we were trying to get the shop up and running and, and kind of hit our targets. We just, we, we, weren't, we weren't doing it. I had no experience in what it would take to run a, a retail repair facility. Again, I have a background in nonprofit management. Uh, I have a heart to serve the community. I have all those different connections. Um, but we knew that we really needed to up our game on the retail side of things and to develop appropriate workflows and standard operating procedures so we could be successful. Awesome, awesome. So how is it that you uh, located and found Automotive Consultants Group, Inc., or ACGI? So when, again, we started this, we figured out we needed some help, and so myself and one of my board members uh, just started Googling for consultants um, in the auto repair industry. And uh, we came across the ACGI website along with a few others. And upon looking at uh, 
Scott's credentials. Uh, we were really impressed and decided to uh, reach out to Scott and, and start there. And um, we were we were very impressed going forward with Scott and his credentials and experience, and, and decided to move forward with Scott. Awesome, awesome, and it's been one heck of a ride. And Chris, I don't mind telling you, you're one of my favorite clients. I love working with you guys. So how long have you been engaged with ACGI? Engaged with ACGI uh, last May, so it's been a little bit uh, less than a year. Okay. Now, I understand that consultants might seem expensive. Did you derive value from your previous and ongoing work with ACGI? Absolutely. Um, Yes, we, I believe that through our work with Scott and ACGI, we are going, we are now on a path and a trajectory to make this ministry uh, sustainable. Uh, and so, and what I mean by that is the retail work is going to provide the revenues needed for us to do significant work on the charitable side. We're talking about generating enough revenue for the retail to serve over 200 households each year. Um, with reliable transportation. That's awesome. The better consultants will often provide tools to assist you in managing the repair shop. What tools did you get from ACGI and how did they help? I probably can't name them all. I probably haven't even had an opportunity to look at them all. There are so many tools. Uh, Scott provided us with a, a Dropbox folder um, just chock full of things from uh, an employee manual to job descriptions to standard operating procedures to compensation plans to a KPI tracker. Uh, pretty much if there's any document that, that we have need of to create, it's in that Dropbox folder uh, and then we just take it and modify it to our purposes. It's been uh, immensely helpful and time saving. Very good, very good. Many shops have mistakenly thought there would be a quick fix to their management problems. Was this a case with New Heights, or did ACGI provide some kind of a reality check? Uh, definitely provide a reality check. Certainly it was not a quick fix. Uh, we didn't have that expectation of a quick fix, um, but I actually think the fix has come faster than I had anticipated. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. So what overall has your uh, experience been working with ACGI? It's been very good. Scott's been very prompt, easy to work with, professional, um, great communicator back and forth. Um, it's, it's, it's worked out very well. Scott um, has cha appropriately challenged us and our staff, um, and we have had a lot of good healthy debates, and I think we are much better off because of it. Cool, cool. So where do you see New Heights going in the short term? Short term, uh, I see us really honing in on our operation and streamlining it, um, getting more efficient in the way we operate. Uh, and I see us in the next year uh, being fully financially sustainable. Cool. So what about the long term? Let's say three to five years. What might that look like? Three to five years, uh, I would love to add some more technicians to our staff. Um, and again, just continuing to increase our output and the number of people that we are able to serve. Uh, I would also, adjacent to auto repair, I see us starting a um, automotive detailing social enterprise, which we would use for a workforce development tool, um, but also use to generate needed revenues to support the ministry. Okay, okay. Well, it certainly sounds like you're enjoying this successful consulting project with Scott and ACGI. Absolutely. Would you recommend them? Yes, I would absolutely recommend ACGI to anybody um, who is wanting to take their auto repair service to the next level. Cool. Well, Chris, I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much for your time. You have a uh, now successful operation to run. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today, and good luck to you in the future. Thanks.